This is my Welcome to Plathville update for March 2024. Where are they now update? And there's lots to catch up on with Olivia, Ethan, Micah, Mariah, Kim, and Barry Plath, and all their family drama. Welcome to Plathville premiered in 2019 and has now had five seasons that documented the ups and the downs of their family, which when they started out, they didn't eat sugar, they didn't watch TV, the kids drank coffee for some reason, and they were straight up giving Duggar vibes. And now there are two divorces, a lot of tension, there was a DUI, and things have really flipped upside down. Let's start with the fact this month that Olivia Plath, who recently got divorced from Ethan, went on a podcast called So Bad It's Good with Ryan Bailey, and she spilled the tea and basically confirmed that Welcome to Plathville season six is on its way. And that's not all. She had a bunch of bombshells, actually. She said that, and I quote, I'm a petty B-I-T-C-H. I know that Kim thought that I wouldn't be part of Plathville anymore when Ethan and I got divorced, and I know that she's disappointed. I'm just reveling in that a tiny bit. So wow, the feud is feuding. We can expect season six of Welcome to Plathville to probably be very Olivia versus everybody, okay? so. Olivia now lives in LA. She is not in Minnesota where she moved in season five. They moved so much all over the place, but she is now kind of embracing her villain role, it seems. I can't imagine what her storyline will be though if she has absolutely no contact with the Plath. She did mention on the podcast that she has dated, but she doesn't use the apps. Either way, Olivia is good TV and she brings the drama and really pushes the buttons of certain people in the family. Olivia says that if the show is going to show the happy version of their lifestyle, then they need to show the flip side when someone walks away. She also says the crew's really nice apparently. And if she's in LA, I wonder if she lives close to Micah, maybe that makes everything easier for filming or something. Olivia says that when there's an opportunity for a connection in filming with the Platts, she tells production that if it turns into a circus, she's walking away and that's kind of her boundary. But I'm not really sure how she's going to keep that connection alive with the Platts. This is clearly something production will want though. They'll want to keep some type of tie between them. Let's see how that goes. And there's more. She made some pretty intense comments during the podcast about Ethan and said that Ethan wanted to raise his kids very right wing and would not allow them to be who they wanted to be if they were LGBTQ, let's say. So Olivia says that Ethan actually told her that if his kid went to him and said that he or she is gay, he would never talk to them again. I mean, I thought that was a major bomb to drop. Uh, and I'm wondering what Ethan would say to respond to that, honestly. I mean, really? She spoke a little bit on the podcast about how the show all started, and she mentioned a few things we did not know. About the start of the show, she said that Kim had actually written a parenting book and that the whole purity culture is very performative. It's all about how you dress, how you present yourself. You're supposed to shout from the rooftop that you're a great parent, things like that. And um, she actually did make a dig at Kim and said there are more qualified people that should be writing books. And the show was supposed to showcase how their superior parenting skills were going. And it all kind of backfired. It really did kind of, it, it really did. I mean, look at everything that happened. It's crazy. Olivia has recently been to Seattle and also volunteers with an organization called The Good Karma LA, which offers meals to the homeless, so that's very nice. And she also still does wedding photography and 
hangs out with her sister when she can. Although they don't live in the same state, she mentioned that her sister now lives in Arizona. And speaking of LA, Micah is still doing his thing as a model and traveling, I mean, pretty often to see his family. He was the bartender on Watch What Happens Live, if anybody watches that, very randomly. I was shocked to see him there because he's not even on Bravo or linked to Bravo. I think he was just there maybe because Andy or someone thought that he looks good, honestly. So, and during the episode, Andy asked him more questions than I've ever seen him ask a bartender because they're usually kind of in the background. Sometimes they don't even get spoken to that much. Maybe once they're introed and that's it. But honestly, great for Micah, but very unexpected. Mariah released a new song called Circus, which is ironic because her family, some might say, can be a little bit like a circus, not gonna lie. And she still has her huge dog, I think its name is Blackjack, and she's been spending time with family members including Lydia and even Kim. They took these Christmas pictures. And one more thing about Mariah, do you remember Max, her first love, who cheated on her and had to kind of admit it on national television? Well, apparently, word on the street is that he is becoming a father. He's moved on and he moved on pretty quickly. So a lot of rude people are also in Mariah's comments on Instagram saying how her voice isn't that great. And honestly, I'm appalled. If you don't have anything nice to say, just kind of keep it to yourself. Honestly, Mariah is doing her thing and singing is her favorite thing, her passion. So why would anyone want to like suck the joy out of that, honestly? And I think she's a great singer. As for Ethan, he has only posted one picture since announcing his breakup with Olivia and very predictably, it was about cars. He said, I went to the Henry Ford Museum in Detroit a few weeks ago and that made me smile. I enjoyed every moment of it. The Duesenberg was my favorite. I can only hope to own one someday. So is it just me or do the plots travel a ridiculous amount? At this point, we don't know where Ethan is living. Did he move back to Georgia? Is he still in Minnesota? I mean, it's hard to keep up because they don't post that much, especially Ethan. But I admire Ethan's passion and I just love that he's following it, honestly. I'm also wondering if we'll see Ethan date next season and how that's going to unfold. I can imagine him going for super conservative girls this this time that are maybe more aligned with his views, right? Because he was just so different than Olivia. Either way, I just feel like the plots are authentically themselves on screen. I think that makes for good TV and it just like I feel like they're not performing, you know? So that's there's that. I think that's great. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching my Welcome to Plattsville update for March 2024. I'll be back with more updates. Have a great night and week. Bye, guys.